What's up, my cherry bombs? <laughs> today's video I'm gonna be sharing my entire sniff collection you guys I have been saying that I was gonna do this video for the longest there was so much new releases that was coming out and I really wanted to share with you guys some favorites and I'm super excited that today I can finally share them with you guys so if that sounds like something that you're definitely interested in go ahead and grab a seat grab a drink simply modern cup will be linked in the description box below let's get right into this video all right you guys so when we're talking about sniff they are a genderless brand and what that means is that the fragrances are not for men or women they have no gender so a man woman cat dog anybody could wear it they're clean fragrances and they are affordable niche fragrances so let's go ahead and dive into my fragrance collection share is one that I actually was honored and blessed to be part of so I am able to vote on the fragrance it is anonymous so we don't know the name Name or anything we just have little samples where we sniff them and when the new fragrance came out the one that I fell in love with is the one that mostly everyone fell in love with and we were able to make a fragrance out of it and this fragrance is called citrus circus now they did send me two full bottles I put one in the giveaway and the other one is hacked away we were picking out this fragrance we didn't know the notes we didn't know anything we just had numbers so it was fragrance one two three and four and four was the one that I fell in love with but this one has notes of creamsicle, grapefruit, lime zest, sparkling water, neroli, violet, cedar, and white amber. It smells like a creamsicle, a beautiful orange vanilla sorbet. Like imagine having a popsicle with orange sorbet outside and then a vanilla cream in the middle. This is what this smells like. Now on the skin, I do get a good four hours with this fragrance. It's not too long lasting, but it's here for a good time. If you like those orange zesty fragrances, this is perfect. This is literally a fresh gourmand fragrance in a bottle I really really enjoyed this one a lot I can't wait to actually wear my full bottle because I've had three samples and this is my last sample so you already know I really really love this one for real and this one is special to my heart because I was able to pick it out for you guys to enjoy so definitely check this one out and if you guys didn't know already I have a discount code for sniff which is cherries 10 where you can save a 10% off on the already amazing prices the prices for these fragrances are $65 and I think that is extremely reasonable for these amazing creations so citrus circus is really really good I love it if you like those orange zesty almost like an orange peel but that's super super uber sweet creamy then this one is perfect on the skin I do get that grapefruit but it is not overpowering so don't be afraid with that one because when I seen the notes and I was like dang they did a good job with that grapefruit so definitely definitely go ahead and add citrus circus to your collection if you don't have a creamsicle orangey zesty fragrance in your collection already one in my collection that is pretty new from the house of sniff is called ace ace baby so now when they sent this one out they sent it in the 10 ml travel spray which i thought was pretty cool so ace ace baby has the top notes of lemon accor ginger timber pepper white freesia green apple blossom lavender grass and blonde woods now I must say this one was not like my favorite it is fresh and clean but I feel like this one leans a little bit more masculine I would love to smell this on my husband ace ace baby smells very clean very fresh it smells very citrusy and I don't know why it's not one of my favorites because for me right now smelling it now it smells amazing I feel like I'm about to eat my words because now that I'm smelling it it smells amazing it kind of sm remind me of light blue what it smells amazing all right First of all, my bad. I thought that I didn't like this when I first smelled it, but now that I'm smelling it again, it smells like light blue. It reminds me of light blue. More fresher and more like lavender because it has the lavender in it. All right, this is nice. Oh my gosh. Well, <laughs> there you go. Like you honestly see my true impression of this fragrance. All right, Sniff. See, I love Sniff because it never sees to surprise me. This one is a beautiful fragrance. I like the marketing with this one because they flew out someone to London for I feel like a three-day um, weekend and I thought that was amazing golden ticket so golden ticket the marketing behind this was amazing it was like Willy Wonka factory type of thing so when you got your 
box if you had the golden ticket and you had the full golden box you were flown out and it was not no gimmick they really flew out someone to london which i thought was super super cool but the golden ticket has notes of bergamot black tea green tea golden mate sage incense amber and vetiver golden ticket is your escape route to a different dimension where life is based, serious colors drip brighter and the smells are so wonderfully potent that you can almost taste them. Steeped with golden mate, black tea, green tea, and bergamot, the magical, dare we say, mystical scent sprays light and settles with a musky blend of amber incense. Spill the tea, but don't waste a drop. If you like tea fragrances, this is amazing. This is one I like to wear on brunch dates with my husband. It smells so good. What I like about this one the most is the green tea. I do get the black tea just a little bit, but the green tea is more prominent in this fragrance. And I like the bergamot. I feel like tea fragrances are very elegant. They're very soft. They're very dainty. They're super girly at the same time. This smells good on my husband. Don't get it twisted, but it's super girly in my opinion. Don't get me started with the incense. It is not dark at all. It's very light and airy. The amber, this is blended to perfection. If you like green tea fragrances, this is a really good one. It is one that I like to wear during the hot weather. If you like fragrances like Sol de Janeiro, Cherusa, or you like fragrances like Soleil Blanc, Soleil Brillant, you'll love this one. The Strawberry Moon. Now, what I like about this fragrance is that jasmine note. This opens up with jasmine leather, bergamot, pink pepper, iris saffron. It's warm, it's earthy, it has vetiver, amber wood. This is literally like a summer fragrance, but if you like leather and earthy fragrances, it's very much earthy. It's aromatic. It is one of those fragrances that I feel like I would wear to the beat. At the same time, it's not gonna be like a real hot, sweaty day. It's like a very warm day in October where the sun is like, not too present. This is exactly what this is. I can carry this on towards the nighttime as well. I think it is a perfect date night fragrance as well if you like jasmine. Jasmine is definitely sexy. Paired with leather, you got my whole heart. This is another one that's super exciting. This is from their secret menu. So their secret menu is basically like exotic notes that no one would have thought of putting into a fragrance and make it work. And this one is called Dead Dinosaur. Now it does not smell like no dead dinosaur, okay? It's a fragrance that's supposed to remind you of your old car, your first car. You know when you get that old 1999 car, it still smells like gasoline, the old leather. It's that nostalgia smell that you will never forget when you get into your old car. It has notes of gasoline accord, pink pepper, ginger, magnolia, flower, orris, davana, cedarwood, pearl blossom, and amber wood. Now, let me be honest. When I first smelled this, I said, this is nice. Obviously in the opening, I did get that gasoline accord, but it doesn't smell like gasoline. It smells more of that pink pepper and that magnolia. The ginger makes it a little bit spicy. So I remember this one, it probably wasn't like one that everyone was eager to smell because it was so different. But I would highly, 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 highly recommend you guys to smell this because it smells completely different from what I it's hard to explain, but it's one of those fragrances that when you spray it on your skin, you smell it, you're like, oh, okay, this is nice. Then you keep going back to it. Then you keep going back to it. So if you like magnolia, you like ginger, you like pink pepper, this is nice. I could see this as being a signature scent. I would wear this in the hot weather. I would wear this um, on days where I just don't know what to wear and I just want to pick something and spray it on. It smells amazing on a man and on me, it smells amazing. This is not a safe blind buy in my humble opinion, but it is one that you should definitely get your nose on. Dead Dinosaur is super unique. And honestly, you guys, I really like it. I did not think it was gonna be something that I would have liked. This next one really smells like a It Girl fragrance to me. It smells like something that Chanel would have brung out or Valentino would have brung out. It's definitely crowd pleasing and I really think that you guys would love this for sure. Show Pony. Oh my gosh. Now this one opens up with black tea, saffron. It has vetiver, sandalwood, bergamot, black pepper, and golden plum. Oh my gosh. It kind of reminds me of something that I would have smelled from Chanel back in the day. It's very girly. It stands out. This is really strong. If you like fragrances like Coco Mademoiselle, if you like fragrances like La Vie Belle, you'll definitely love this one. It doesn't smell like none of those 
but it does smell like something that I would smell on someone that is super put together, somebody in corporate, somebody that goes out to dinners every week. It just smells like a boss of babe. Show Pony is really nice and I like the fact that it is called Show Pony because it is definitely someone that is put together, someone with class, someone that has new money or old money. Definitely giving off lavish and sexy. And if it's the fact that they bring out very minimalistic fragrances, but at the same time, super unique. Way with Woods. Now this one opens up with white tea, mandarin, sandalwood. It has amber woods. It has vetiver and musk. This is so cozy. It is so woody. It's so fresh. This is another one that I feel like is perfect for that minimalistic girl. The white tea and the mandarin gives it more of like a citrusy opening, but also calming factor. This is one that I would wear on days that I don't feel like wearing anything. I'm going to be honest. Or on days where I just get out the shower and I just lay on the couch and don't want to be bothered. Okay. And when you get to the dry down, you get that beautiful amber and the sandalwood is super creamy and warm very much giving off a sexy put together white t-shirt type of vibe on my skin i get a good five hours and i don't think that's bad with this fragrance if you like woody fresh clean cozy creamy fragrances then way with woods is perfect it's literally my favorite fig fragrance at the moment it was a collaboration between professor perfume and sniff and i thought that this was a genius fragrance because they were missing a fig fragrance in their lineup and this one is one that you guys definitely need to get in your collection. It's called Val Factor. If you watch my vlogs, you would know that I really, really love this fragrance. So this one opens up with Green Fig. It has Mandarin, Galdemum, Neroli, Rose, Oris, Cedarwood, Tonka Bean, and Brett Seeds. Oh my gosh, this is super, super good. It has that beautiful fig note throughout the whole fragrance. She made this fragrance for her to wear on her wedding day. And that rose is definitely giving off fresh petals fresh and clean petals, but then that embrette and the tonka bean gives it like that sweetness and the warmth. It is super, super over good. And I really like the fact that she came out with a fig fragrance because I don't have that much fig fragrances in my collection. And I thought this one was genius. It's a beautiful tobacco vanilla fragrance. And when I smelled this one, I fell in love. Fun fact, this is my second bottle. And this one is Burning Bridges. Now this one is definitely a fan's favorite. It has vanilla from Madagascar. It has tobacco, iris, rose, fresh spices, freesia, and oak moss. Oh my God, so sexy. It's perfect for those warm and cozy moments like right now. It is a perfect sweater weather fragrance. And I love it. Oh, the vanilla in this fragrance is amazing. I can't wait for Sniff to make a vanilla only type of fragrance. If you like beautiful notes of tobacco and vanilla, this is perfect. What I like about this is because it has that iris, so it's very, very powdery. And the tobacco is definitely giving off powdery as well and kind of smoky. And I like that. It's not too sweet. It's not too powdery. It is like the perfect blend between all of that. It is super long lasting. I like to wear this to bed. I like to wear it out for date night. This is literally a super versatile fragrance that will not break the bank. Since see woody fragrances, then this one is going to be right up your alley. And it is Suganami. Oh, baby. This one, it just gives off sexy, mysterious alluring just gorgeous it has angelica seeds it has coriander iris rose cypress and myrrh and then it also has amber creamy musk and cedar wood y'all this right here if i'm going to an award show i'm wearing this if i'm going to a wedding i'm wearing this if i'm performing i'm wearing this it is definitely giving off very luxe very mysterious very sensual very sexy literally dark and mysterious just like the bottle i like this one and i feel like this is perfect for like upscale date nights for example anniversaries um birthday dinners or even if you're just going to a gala a wedding i love this one it is super long lasting and it will open up a conversation because when you walk into the room it walks in before you it actually opens the door for you and then close it after you so that means the projection is amazing and the sillage is crazy you could pass by me and I will still smell you lingering on like you just walked up to me. One of my favorite cherry fragrances. And if you're not new here, you know about this fragrance. Tarte Deco. 
Now this one literally took the internet by surprise. It came out when everyone was bringing out cherry fragrance. But I honestly believe that this one was the best cherry fragrance on the market. It has black cherry, raspberry rose, jasmine, mimosa, birchwood, vetiver, and vanilla. I like this one because the black cherry is not syrupy. It is definitely giving off very rich. On me, I get a powdery vibe. The jasmine in this is crazy crazy raspberry in this is oh my god like raspberry and cherry genius blend what it is super fruity but it's not overpowering it definitely stands out this is exactly what i wanted love fest to smell like this is exactly what i wanted rouge smoking to smell like this literally blew every cherry fragrance out the park between this one and duchessa i just don't know which one's my favorite because they are so uniquely different this one kind of gives off like oh i'm the only cherry fragrance that exists that's how good it is it smells so different i highly highly recommend to get this this is definitely a safe blind buy and i promise you you won't regret it this next one is also one from the secret menu but honestly you guys if you're a gourmand lover this is the one for you and it's called crumb couture so it has notes of croissant accord wild berry jam black currant toasted vanilla tonka bean and sandalwood talk about the ultimate gourmand fragrance it literally smells like a buttery croissant with the cherry on there so edible you guys people will think that you are a walking bakery it smells amazing the tonka bean gives it like this powdery dry down that i really really love and then the sandalwood makes it super creamy think of literally having a fresh croissant slicing it and putting some berry jam on it closing it and taking your first bite and sipping on some coffee this is literally what this is in a bottle super long lasting super delicious it layers amazing with a lot of fragrances too and i feel like this is exactly what i wanted from sniff because yes the other ones have vanilla they have tonka bean they have tobacco but this is literally the definition of a gourmand. This one, which is the last one in the collection, in my opinion, is the number one best selling. If you like fragrances like Baccarat Rouge, Greenwich Village, if you like those type of vibes, then you will love this one. And it is Sweet Ash. Sweet Ash have notes of juniper, bergamot, fir blossom, tonka bean, vanilla bean, white moss, and patchouli. When I first smelled it, I was like, is this Baccarat? Is this another Baccarat dupe? But y'all, honestly, different. So the description says it's a low-key sweet and earthy scent that goes from inviting to addictive. Its silky blend of moss, woods, and fir blossom is balanced by a hint of tonka bean and black vanilla bean. You will want to carry it with you so you can get your fix at a moment's notice. You guys, and when I tell y'all, it is very addictive. This is my third bottle. Love this one so, so, so much, and I can't get enough of it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you've ever smelled anything from Sniff, what's in your collection from Sniff. Are you interested in trying them out? For $65 and an extra 10% off, you really can't go wrong with a long-lasting, very unique smelling fragrance. Comment down below what you're sniffing on today. Don't forget that I'll have everything linked in the description box below with coupon codes. Until we see each other again, please, please, please stay safe and keep on smelling fragrance. Bye, Cherry Bombs. <laughs>